Can you see a difference between the UI of these two applications here? One here at the top is a progressive web app that I'm working on. It's just a draft web app uh, that I've been building over the past few days. And here is Spotify, which I use to listen to music. And now Spotify has a very nice UI here where it, it is able to display its content all the way to the top of the window uh, surface area here. Obviously it has the minimize, maximize and close buttons here, but for the rest uh, of the title bar, it's essentially gone. Whereas with my little app here, um, I do have the default title bar with the name of the application and then the buttons here. And I would really want to do something like that, especially because I've got a full screen map here and I'd love it if it could, you know, go all the way to the top and get rid of this title that I don't really need and use it for showing all of my content here instead. Uh, it turns out that in Microsoft Edge and other Chromium browsers, you can now do this with a new experimental feature. So let's learn about how to do this. First of all, we need to enable the feature. It is still experimental, as I was saying, and therefore we need to enable it first. Uh, so head over to Edge Flags and type window controls, and that should bring up the PWA window controls overlay experiment, which I've already got enabled here, but for you, it's probably gonna be default. So turn that into uh, the enabled value and restart the browser. Once you've got that, you're able to use the feature. So um, let me show you how to do this. I'm going to open the source code for my application here. One of the very important files in the source code for any progressive web app is the manifest file, which I've got open already here. And what you want to add is this display override window controls overlay um, entry in, in the JSON uh, structure for your manifest. Once you've got that in, that's basically all you need to get started. And so um, what I need to do now that I've done this is I need to reload my app so that it takes that into account. To do this, I need to uninstall it because it's a manifest change. So I do need to reinstall the app for the new manifest to be taken into account. So I'm going to go back to the website where the app is hosted originally. Uh, what I'm going to do just to you know, make sure that the new manifest is indeed being downloaded is I'm going to open DevTools because once DevTools is open, I can right click on the refresh button and select the empty cache and hard refresh feature, which is going to make sure that all of the cache is gone. And now in DevTools, if I go to the application panel, the manifest section, I can click on the manifest.json file and check that indeed the browser downloaded the new manifest because it has the window controls overlay feature here. So now I'm ready to reinstall the app. Edge has a nice little app available button here in the in the URL bar. Click on that, click install. Just wait a couple seconds and we have the app now. So as you can see here, nothing changed by default except that there's a new button displayed in the title bar here that allows users to hide it away and for my app to now react to this change and take full advantage of the you know full surface area of the app which is awesome this is exactly what i wanted now obviously the close maximize minimize and the pwa buttons here uh, are still displayed and that's you know critical system stuff that needs to stay there so that's fine uh, but the big difference is now this acts as an overlay my web content spans across the entire width and height of the window and there's an overlay displayed on top of it that's like always at the top with a, a z index that's always going to be such that it's over everything else that my web page displays uh, now there's a couple of things that i wanted to show you on top of this um, one is i am able to drag this app around even though you know it's a map uh, component. So when I click and drag, it should really be moving the map. And it does, except in this area here at the top. And I've done this on purpose. I've already implemented this. And I'm going to show you how this works um, by opening DevTools. By the way, little tip, when you're on a PWA and install, you know, web app, you can still press F12 or Control Shift I to bring up the DevTools. 
uh, which is super useful to be able to do your debugging in the installed app. Let me head over to the elements panel and um, I want the one thing that I want to show you is this drag element that I've added here. All right, so this is a div with class drag. As you can see, as I move my mouse over it, it gets highlighted in the page in blue. It's at the top of the of the window. It's a transparent element, you know, absolutely positioned. And the one thing that's really interesting there is that it uses this WebKit app region with the drag value CSS property. And that's, you know, that's the magic incantation to make this possible. All right, so that's one thing that I wanted to show you. And then the second thing is this environment variable function. Um, if you've never seen this, this is a CSS function, just like calc or var or linear gradient and other functions like that. And the really good thing about this one is that it lets you access uh, environment variables that the browser defines, right? So in that case, I can access things like title bar area height, title bar area width, and X and Y as well, which tells me exactly where the title bar currently is in the application and how big it is. So this is to know, you know, the position and size of this black overlay here, uh, which is really important because on Mac, for example, those buttons are typically on the left side and not on the right side. So I'd want my sidebar here to take that into account. And instead of hard coding this and doing some ugly, you know, detection of browsers, I can use those environment variables to know where they are and how big they are. Um, and that's basically it. So I hope that this was useful and that you're going to start using the window controls overlay feature soon in your progressive web apps.